Incidentally, vast occasions of great scale happen billions of kilometers away from Earth, resounding all through the universe, and presently a comparable occasion is approaching, igniting surprise even among researchers. A red monster star arranged at the external ranges of our system is sending unpropitious signs across the universe, caught by the James Webb Space Telescope. Stargazers have uncovered profoundly agitating disclosures about this enormous heavenly body. As recognized astrophysicist Brian Cox gives a grave admonition, a squeezing question emerges. Are we wavering on the edge of seeing a destructive cosmic explosion blast that could forever change the recognizable night sky? Prior to digging into additional subtleties, make sure to buy into our channel if you haven't currently. Now the consuming inquiry waits. Will this blast influence Earth, and will it be apparent from our planet? Remain tuned as we investigate the responses to these compelling inquiries in this video. In the vast breadth of the universe, where the show of heavenly birth, life, and passing unfurls in fascinating quality, one specific star has as of late instructed the consideration and worry of the two space experts and the overall population. This star, known as Betelgeuse, stands apart unmistakably as a red supergiant in the star grouping Orion, flaunting massive size and age. While its striking ruddy tint and fluctuating brilliance have long interested onlookers, ongoing occasions have further topped interest in this heavenly behemoth. As we dig into the quintessence of Betelgeuse, we get ourselves near the precarious edge of a possibly fantastic occasion in the star's life cycle. However, what do these changes in Betelgeuse's behavior mean? Might we at any point observe the start of a remarkable cosmic exhibition of incredible greatness? Betelgeuse, flaunting a size multiple times more prominent than our sun, remains similar to an epic monster among stars. Its sheer greatness extends the cutoff points of human creative mind. Picture a star so tremendous that if it somehow managed to take the sun's place, its surface would expand past Mars' circle, wrapping Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars inside its heavenly handle. This uncommon size not just features Betelgeuse's physical monstrosity yet, in addition, implies its place in the heavenly life cycle as a red supergiant. Betelgeuse is in the nightfall period of its presence, set apart by development and cooling after a lifetime of combining hydrogen into helium at its center. Inquiries emerge about Betelgeuse's age. In spite of being generally youthful in human terms, assessed at around 8.8 .8 to 8.5 million years of age, it remains old within the setting of heavenly life expectancies. Its present status as a red supergiant addresses the summit of millions of long periods of heavenly development, described by significant changes from a hot blue star to the superb red monster we notice today. The excursion of stars like Betelgeuse unfurls as a story of steady change, fueled by the steady powers of atomic combination and gravity. One eminent element of Betelgeuse's ongoing stage is its striking ruddy tone. This red variety emerges from its relatively cooler surface temperature, a differentiation to stars like our sun. While our sun blasts at around 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse's surface is cooler, getting started at around 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature permits Betelgeuse to radiate light with frequencies painted in shades of red. However, this tone isn't only a tasteful characteristic. It offers bits of knowledge into the star's actual state and the ongoing cycles inside its far-reaching gaseous domain. Adding to the interest encompassing Betelgeuse is its charming variety history. Antiquated works from Roman and Chinese sources recommend that exactly a long time back, Betelgeuse seemed yellow. It was only after the 9th century that Arabic researchers portrayed it as red. This authentic change in variety isn't simply a reference in galactic records. It fills in as a hint to the star's transformative excursion. The fluctuating splendor of Betelgeuse adds another layer of interest. It acts as a semi-regular variable star, meaning its iridescence goes through intermittent variances. This dance of brilliance has charmed stargazers and sky watchers for a long time. Typically, Betelgeuse follows a multi-day cycle, alongside a longer 5E -E cycle recorded as far back as 1836 by Sir John Herschel and possibly considerably prior in native oral customs. Yet, what genuinely sets Betelgeuse separated isn't simply its differing brilliance. However, it's abnormality. Dissimilar to many stars that stick to unsurprising designs, 
Beetlejuice incidentally goes off base from its normal darkening and lighting up mood. This anomaly alludes to intricate and less comprehended processes unfurling inside its enormous structure. Ongoing noteworthy disclosures enamored stargazers and sky watchers worldwide when Beetlejuice encountered an unforeseen and emotional change, presently broadly named the Extraordinary Diminishing. Everything started in late 2019 when Beetlejuice, the red supergiant sparkling splendidly in the night sky and a notable piece of the Orion heavenly body, started to go through a puzzling diminishing. The darkening was so striking that it lost luminosity at an average pace of 0.01 extents each day, hitting its most reduced splendor by February 2020. Beetlejuice, ordinarily apparent to the exposed eye even in the midst of light contamination, fundamentally blurred. A change even novice onlookers couldn't miss. Anyway, there's a huge test in checking the exercises of Beetlejuice, the time conundrum. When we notice a star like Beetlejuice, we're not seeing its present status yet, rather its past, attributable to the time it takes for light to contact us. Beetlejuice, arranged around 725 light years away, means the light we see today left from the star almost seven centuries prior. This time delay convolutes endeavors to expect and follow unexpected changes in a star's way of behaving since we're basically noticing occasions that happened in the far-off past. The darkening of Betelgeuse fills in as a distinct sign of the intrinsic intricacies in progressively cosmic perceptions and the limitations of our comprehension when wrestling with the immense sizes of the universe and the time secret they involve. The enamoring adventure of Betelgeuse's astronomical execution was carefully followed by Andrea Dupree, the associate head of the Center for Astronomy at Harvard and Smithsonian, alongside her group. Utilizing the Hubble Space Telescope, they set out on a three-year examination to screen variances in Betelgeuse's external climate. These perceptions gave an unrivaled comprehension of how a variable star like Betelgeuse works, with its normal developments and constrictions prompting changes in brilliance. The noteworthy awareness of Hubble to bright light empowered the scientists to dive into the layers above Betelgeuse's surface, which were somewhat warmed by the star's violent convection cells. Moreover, a nitty-gritty investigation of the Hubble spectra got at different stretches all through 2019 and 2020 worked with the estimation of material development inside Betelgeuse's external climate. Explicitly, the examination zeroed in on the magnesium two lines inside the spectra, which offer bits of knowledge into the environmental conditions of the star. These perceptions disclosed material going at velocities of around 200,000 miles per hour from Betelgeuse's surface to its external environment. This warmed and thick substance at last extended millions of miles from Betelgeuse, filling in as the forerunner to the residue cloud answerable for the star's diminishing. Dupree and her group assessed that during the three-month eruption, generally two times the standard thing measure of material from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere was shed. This significant loss of mass holds importance, particularly considering that like all stars, Betelgeuse ceaselessly sheds mass, yet at a rate a lot higher than that of our sun. The greatness of this mass launch and the coming about diminishing incited conversations among cosmologists regarding whether this event could portend a cosmic explosion blast. The closeness of Betelgeuse, situated around 725 light years from Earth, adds to the interest. If such a blast were to happen, it would be apparent from Earth, introducing an uncommon open door to intently notice a cosmic explosion. However, the question endures. What suggestions does this diminishing occasion hold for Betelgeuse's future? Does it signal an inescapable cosmic explosion? Or is it simply an unmistakable part in the star's broad and complicated excursion? Different speculations were proposed to reveal insight into this peculiarity. This unexpected shift prompted a few winning theories. One proposed a stage in the cosmic explosion blast process acquiring energy because of the broad conviction that Betelgeuse is approaching the climax of its life cycle. Another broadly acknowledged hypothesis implicated dust, possibly originating from the star itself, darkening our perspective on Betelgeuse. Research guessed on the timing of such an occasion, suggesting that it may happen sooner than recently expected, maybe in only years and years. Furthermore, the idea of the bow shock adds one more significant layer to the Betelgeuse problem. As this gigantic star races through space at around 67,000 miles per hour, comparative with its surrounding interstellar medium, it produces a bow shock much the same as the wake formed by a moving boat's bow. 
This peculiarity arises from the star's external layers interacting with interstellar gases and residue, offering a breathtaking array of the star's dynamic way of behaving and its commitment with the vast milieu. But what about Betelgeuse's new conduct? Its surface cooling and reduced density, seen in the aftermath of the launch occasion, leave the star in a disrupted state even years later. Hydrodynamic reenactments suggest a connection between the star's convective activities, the mass discharge, and subsequent changes in throb modes. This ongoing instability prompts inquiries into the interior mechanisms driving these modifications and their expected outcomes in the future. Moreover, the observed mass misfortune pace of Betelgeuse surpasses that of numerous different stars, indicating a complex transaction of interior forces. However, with the consistent energy dispersing through shock intensity and mass discharge, the driven throb, which partly adds to this mass misfortune, is managed. Such observations highlight the dynamic and somewhat erratic nature of Betelgeuse's life cycle, provoking stargazers to reconsider their models of heavenly advancement. Nevertheless, one could contemplate, is Betelgeuse wavering near the very edge of a cosmic explosion blast in the midst of all these dramatic changes? This question weighs heavily in the cosmic local area. While the timing of such an occasion remains unsure, the new extraordinary mass launch has undeniably moved the talk, suggesting a more up-and-coming finale than previously imagined. Hypotheses presently wrestle with the consequences of such significant material misfortune and its implications for the star's stability and future. But as the cosmic local area centers its consideration on Betelgeuse, another enormous occasion arises, charming our advantage and giving a striking place of correlation the Cosmic Explosion SN 2023 ISF. This motivating scenario transpired in the universe. M101, lovingly named the pinwheel world found only 21 million light years away, disclosed in May 2023. SN 2023 ISF stands separated from common supernovae. It addresses the nearest perception of such an occasion in later memory, bearing the cost of a noteworthy impression into the dramatic conclusion of a star's life. The disclosure of SN 2023 ISF denoted a huge achievement in galactic disclosure. Kiyoki, a celebrated novice cosmologist renowned for his expertise for spotting supernovae, first recognized this quickly lighting up right on target the edges of M11 utilizing a subtle 0.35M telescope. With his declaration, the galactic local area quickly assembled, diverting telescopes worldwide from earthly observatories to the circling Hubble Space Telescope to observe the unfurling exhibition of this famous cosmic explosion. The resulting contest to follow SN 2023 ISF's light bend yielded critical insights into the blast's elements and the heavenly climate wrapping the doom star. Moreover, as cosmologists proceed to disentangle the secrets of the universe, Betelgeuse's adventure, and the scene of SN 2023 ISF act as impactful updates of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the universe. These vast occasions not just enthrall our creative mind, yet additionally extend how we might interpret heavenly advancement, supernovae, and the perplexing interchange of powers that shape the universe. Besides, they highlight the significance of ceaseless perception and investigation, pushing the limits of our insight and inspiring amazement and wonder, notwithstanding the boundlessness and intricacy of the universe. As we peer into the profundities of room, Every disclosure offers new bits of knowledge and raises captivating inquiries, energizing the persistent quest for information and investigation. In this perpetual journey to figure out the universe, each perception, each disclosure, and each inestimable occasion carries us closer to opening the privileged insights of the universe and our place inside it. And as we look up at the night sky, we are helped to remember the significant excellence and secret that encompasses us inviting us to mull over our spot in the stupendous embroidered artwork of the cosmos, particularly in its southern side of the equator. At first, this material showed up more splendid than the star's regular glow, at last coming full circle in the development of a foreboding shadow as it scattered outward and cooled. The suggestion was simply this, outward progression of material and the resulting foreboding shadow were responsible for the sudden diminishing of the star. The greatness of this launch is truly stunning, pushing Betelgeuse into the galactic spotlight. The star removed and evaluated 400 billion times the mass ordinarily produced in a standard coronal mass launch. This removed material, 
assumed to balance our moon several times over, marked a significant occasion not just for Betelgeuse but also for advancing our understanding of heavenly mechanics. But what are the implications of such a massive launch of material for Betelgeuse and the wider theories of supernovae? The repercussions run deep. The traditional wisdom suggests that red supergiants like Betelgeuse always shed mass before reaching the explosive climax of their existence. However, the scale of this launch challenges this idea, indicating a possibly more turbulent and unusual last stage for these stars. Might Betelgeuse at some point prepare for its grand finale, a cosmic explosion blast, inside the approaching centuries later?